In this video, we're going to look at the new .NET decompiler and reflection tools in PowerShell tools for uh, Visual Studio Code. So uh, we've added a new pane here on the left hand side called reflection. And when you open that up, what it's going to do is it's actually going to list all the assemblies that are currently loaded into your PowerShell process. So uh, it's the same PowerShell process that um, your PowerShell integrated terminal is using, as well as um, the PowerShell process that's used for debugging and IntelliSense um, inside Visual Studio Code. So if you import any modules or uh, add any new assemblies, they'll appear inside this uh, reflection um, tree view over here. And then within the tree view, you're going to have a list of all the assemblies. And what you can actually do is um, expand these assemblies, and it's going to start listing out namespaces. And as you move through these namespaces, you're going to start to see uh, types up here. And these are all the types that are available inside this particular assembly um, within the Microsoft PowerShell um, namespace here. So each one of the types then is going to um, allow you to look at things like fields, properties, and methods. So if you expand any one of these, you're going to start to see um, the methods and the fields appear that are available on this particular type. Um, in addition to uh, actually like listing out each one of these different uh, members, what you can do is you can click the decompile type button here. And we take advantage of a, a third party library that allows us to um, decompile these um, types and then output the C-sharp code and display it inside Visual Studio Code. So now you can see here is the decompiled um, console host class um, with all the various uh, methods that we saw inside of um, the tree view over here. So it's a great way to kind of uh, see what is available or how certain code is working. So in addition to um, these assemblies that are kind of loaded already, you can also click this button here to load additional assemblies. So for example, um, I'm going to load up the uh, Quartz assembly, which is a scheduling library. And then the tree view is going to refresh on the left and add that uh, Quartz assembly to my assembly viewer here. And again, I can start stepping through um, these particular types and uh, members, as well as decompile the code for uh, this particular um, type. So uh, this is real handy if you want to just kind of quickly look at how certain things are implemented that you do not have the source code for, or if you want to see uh, you know, what fields, properties, or methods are available on types that are loaded into your PowerShell process. So in this video, we looked at the new .NET decompiler and reflection tools in PowerShell Pro Tools for Visual Studio Code.